A Vancouver family is now reunited with their baby after authorities were able to track down and arrest a man accused of stealing their car with the child still inside. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 6 o'clock. I'm Wayne Haberly. Digging deeper into all of this are Joelle Jones. She joins us now live from where deputies say the kidnapping actually took place. Joelle, uh, what do we know as far as what happened here? Well, Wayne, it's such a scary situation for this family. They tell me they own Happy Juice Coffee Shop and Smoothie Bar, which is just behind me here off of Northeast 99th. And they say they were just feet away and could see the, their one month old son inside the car when a stranger then got in and took off. So like I said, a scary situation out here. The car theft and subsequent kidnapping happened in broad daylight with the Clark County Sheriff's Office saying deputies responded to the family's 911 call just after 745 this morning. We're told a male suspect now identified as Mario Andrews got inside the victim's 2022 Audi and took off with the infant still in the back seat. Authorities say they later found the car dumped near Northeast 88th Street and Highway 99. And while luckily the child was found inside, they tell us the man behind the wheel was still at large. That is until the family noticed someone allegedly tried to use their credit cards at the Vancouver Mall, tipping off authorities who were then able to find and arrest Andrews. The sheriff office says Andrews is now facing charges for theft of a motor vehicle, kidnapping in the second degree and reckless endangerment. They say he was also arrested by Vancouver police for possession of a stolen motor vehicle and attempting to elude in a separate incident. So luckily authorities tell us the baby did not appear to be injured. He was looked at by medics and then cleared before being reunited with this family. We just had an opportunity to speak with them and you'll hear more from them coming up at 10 and 11. But for now, live in Vancouver, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News.